Hello fellow unicorns and welcome to another video and before we begin with today's video make sure to check out my Patreon page for this month's themed manga study packs and references and let's begin today's video featuring a lot of different types of manga and anime mouth shapes and well kind of poses and what goes behind the scenes when you draw manga mouth for your character and what's like the most important thing is to make sure that you start from basic shapes for example the first mouth is made from a shape of an egg and then we proceed to add on for the upper lip we proceed to indent this egg to get the major shape and of course I'm doing the second mouth shape very similarly just a wider variant and of course this is the type of the first mouth shape but for uh, a face facing downwards that's why you have those little arrows showing you actually which type of mouth is for uh, which kind of face angle and this is very important if you want to represent characters from different sides um, mouth shapes are changing depending on the way your character is looking and of course uh, closed mouth shapes with showing teeth are usually drawn by not drawing teeth uh, like tooth by tooth but actually just showing two little lines on the side of the teeth uh, it's very important when you have a character with like open mouth to make sure to show at least one row of teeth as like two parallel curvy lines and to show the tongue um, the position of the tongue can actually show us which kind of sound the character is making if it's like a scream or if it's like a yelling sound uh, also there is a laughing kind of a evil laugh more of a shape for the mouth and you can definitely uh, make it very prominent by drawing it with two edges on the left and the right side and we'll do several variants of this as well uh, there is the basic one with just one row of teeth showing and the tongue and the one I'm drawing down below is the same type of, t uh, of uh, mouth but with uh, showing more on the side and showing from above that's why we only have the lower teeth showing so this is like literally some of these are the same mouth shape but for different angles and you can definitely add on uh, for these angles by showing the upper or the lower uh, row of teeth of course when you just hint and just make a top row of teeth showing just a little bit it's usually a smug face it's usually somebody who is like just wan and is trying to like mock the opponent then we have a more closed variant that's almost looking like a almost closed eye and if you erase the middle uh, lower line you will get fuller look for your lips and just making characters that have wider mouths with pointy ends is something that's very expressive if you want to draw out mouth that has like a licking kind of emotion then you will draw this line and on the edge of the line you will have like a teardrop shape for the tongue nothing more nothing less manga mouth is very expressive but it's also very simple uh, to draw a grinning type of mouth just like I'm doing here uh, you will need a square shape but you will curve it a little bit and add on these two lines on the sides showing actually the row of teeth being connected and if you do a squiggly line on top you will show the gums so this is like the most detail you will do on mouth uh, of a character and you can add like pointy teeth you can add a fang uh, depends on your character design as for another type of teeth uh, that's also grinning but uh, like with less open uh, mouth you have this example here with just the side of the mouth being open and it's a tear shape with that little line showing the beginning of the uh, connected teeth rows I guess 
And then we have like teeth that's wide open, like mouth that's wide open. You start off with a bean shape and then we add the upper row, the lower row of teeth and the tongue. So these are the three main things when you draw a character, mouth shape, yelling or screaming while battling. So it's also good to put some droplets of like spit. <laughs> I know it sounds disgusting, but it still adds a lot to the look of the mouth. And just being shape for wide open mouth is definitely something that's very useful. Uh, for just characters that are like screaming and yelling from the top of their lungs. So as you can see we have examples for every type of mouth that's like from um, yelling, screaming to just grinning or smiling like in an evilish kind of way. And the last bit of advice I have for you guys is on drawing lips that have lipstick on. Um, in anime, characters with lipstick have actually very thin lips, so what you want to do is outline the very thin lip shape, then fill it in with color, but make sure to leave out the sides of the lower lips, just like I did here. It's very important to show that these tiny lips are still full in volume and that they have some sort of a highlight, and that's what it's very important when you have characters having um, a lipstick done. Also you guys, if you like inking your work, you can check out the way I ink these types of mouths and how I play with the line thickness. And if you're interested which pencil I'm using for inking, I'm using Pilot's Kuretake Futayaku. I'll be linking it down below in the description. And I will also leave these scanned examples for you guys totally free on my Patreon page on the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to learn how to draw manga, check out my book Manga Crash Course available in English, French, Serbian and Chinese.